And good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Galveston Island KOA Holiday, an absolutely fantastic destination along the Gulf Coast of Texas. Uh, we are approximately 17 miles west of Galveston City proper, so it's just far enough out of the city to get away from all that hubbub, but just close enough to be able to go into town there and enjoy all the sights and sounds of Galveston Island, uh, such as the Strand, the Seawall, amazing shops, restaurants, bars, hangouts, everything there is to see in Galveston, Texas. Uh, it is a fantastic location along the Texas Gulf Coast here. Literally right across the street behind these houses is the beach. Although you cannot walk directly across the street through this property, it is private. But if you'll simply exit the park here, either turn left or right, not even a mile left or right. If you go right, you turn left onto the beach. If you go left, you turn right onto the beach. Uh, you can also exit the park here, turn right, and not even about two or three miles down is the bridge. It is a toll bridge, San Luis Pass. It is $2 to go across the toll bridge. You will exit the other side of the toll bridge in Surfside. Amazing beaches over there as well. Or simply turn left right before the bridge and you can get out on the beach there. Although, be very careful with that entrance to the beach as there is a lot of very loose sand and tons of people get stuck going out there. So if you decide to go that way, carry a lot of speed across it. Once you start, you'll be just fine. Otherwise, do not go slow. You will end up stuck. But there are tons of people there that are always willing to help pull you out. No problems. We love coming to this campground. We have been here several times before. If you look back through our channel, you'll see our video here from last time. But we've had a ton of inquiries about wanting more details about spaces and pricing and location and amenities. So here you go, guys. We're going to give you all of that. The last time that we stayed here and the last video that we did uh, was during the KOA Appreciation uh, Weekend on September of 21. And uh, we enjoyed up here on this upper deck patio area. They have, as you see, as you can see, a lot of chairs and tables. They have some umbrellas out here. Uh, we just enjoyed sitting up here in the evenings and uh, just lounging. Uh, on that particular weekend, they did have live music, but uh, even when they don't have live music, I don't know if you can hear it in the background or not, but they were always playing some kind of music uh, during all the times uh, so that you can enjoy that. So I just wanted to give you a good overview of the whole entire campground and then we'll go into site specifics like, you know, the types of sites and uh, rates and such forth that location in the campground for all the specific types of sites and everything like that but as far as the location on the island i mean this is an absolutely great place so we just wanted to give you an overview here right quick and then we'll go into more details about each individual item Uh, the main pool area here, which is located uh, right next door to the office, uh, as you can see on the right end down here, they do have a hot tub as well as this swimming pool right here, which is really nice. It has a beach entry on one end. Uh, the other end is also a sloped entry with lounging chairs in there. Super nice. As you can see, it's empty right now. We are here during the middle of the week right now, so uh, you know a lot of people left out on Sundays and everything like that. But this place gets happening uh, on the weekends for sure. So I wanted to take advantage of this moment in time just to be able to shoot the pool for you guys so you can actually see it. And then uh, if you just simply walk right across the street over there, they have the Lazy River over there. We'll get over there in a little bit and we'll get you some video of that also. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, like I say, guys, right across the street from the swimming pool is the Lazy River. Now, it's not huge uh, by no means, but it is a super cool thing here. The water is constantly flowing in a counterclockwise direction. You can hop in there with your little inner tube, and it will push you right on around that dude 
all day long if you like or just as those folks are doing you can simply hop off in there and just wander around all you want to all day long they have a really large pavilion over here beside it there's all kinds of covered tables and seating areas and everything underneath there like that as well as additional restrooms and a bathhouse if you so need it so on the park map it's labeled as pickleball but to me it looks more like a tennis court i don't know maybe somebody can explain the difference to me <laughs> But uh, no, I mean, as far as the amenities go, they have a lot of things to do here. Like I say, they have this court right here. Uh, right over here to the right, there is a uh, single hoop basketball. You can play some, uh, some hoops while you're out here if you'd like to. There's also right here in the middle of this pitch right here, they have horseshoes. As well as right over here past the tennis ball slash pickleball court is the doggy park. Uh, we like to take our dogs down in there and we just let them go and let them run. Anyway, it's a really nice little dog area for them to uh, run and have a good play time. After you enter the park, if you just simply come all the way to the back of the park, and to the left side here, that's where the cabins are located. They have five cabins. They range in various sizes, various prices uh, based on the seasons. We'll put the price in here somewhere, the, the range. Again, just verify all this. This is just estimations uh, based off of information off the website and of course seasonal rates. Uh, the cabins also vary on the size and the number of people that they hold as well, but they are really nice cabins. Um, they only have five right now. There's a total of six cabins on the location, uh, but one of them is reserved uh, exclusively just for the management of the offices and the staff workers who come here and stay. Um, we actually talked to some folks that had stayed in, uh, I believe it's this cabin right here. This is called Cabin A. They're lettered, uh, but uh, they told me in the office don't go by the lettering necessarily because they do change the letters based on uh, KOA changing, you know, uh, information on the sites and such forth but this one right here is currently located as cabin a and they call it the aqua vista cabin uh, anyway it's really nice inside uh, there's some folks staying in it right now but um, we talked to them and they said yeah that, that they're having a great time they love the cabin in there they do also have uh, guest shower rooms uh, we're not gonna go in there uh, if you've seen a shower room they're all nice they're really nice inside they keep them very well cleaned and everything like that so if you find yourself in need they do have shower facilities on site here as well they do also have an on-site uh, laundry facility here they have a total of 10 dryers and 10 washing machines and they are being labeled as right now as like 225 for a load or 225 for a load to dry uh, I don't know what the going rates is on that. We don't hardly ever use them. Uh, we do have a washer and dryer in our motorhome, so we've never used an on-site facility, but they do have them. So just wanted to let pass that information on to you. Uh, as kind of a state KOA standard, they do have on-site propane fills. So if you find the need that you need your propane bottle filled on your motorhome, your travel trailer, uh, carry tank, whatever, uh, they do have that. I'm not going to publish any kind of rate here right now for the propane because of market fluctuations being so wild right now. Uh, there's no guarantee that the rates would even stay the same. I'm just going to say it's competitive with everybody else on Galveston Island. Uh, so uh, it is located right here, just adjacent to the office right here. You just go over there, tell them you need a propane fill. They'll come over here and they will take care of you. Uh, all of the folks that work here are so nice. Uh, I enjoyed being in the office this morning, just sitting there talking to the folks that run the campground. Uh, very accommodating. They try to help you out for anything that they can. And they do make a lot of good recommendations for some restaurants around here also, by the way, guys. The Galveston Island KOA Holiday will have basically three levels of campsites listed. They will have the preferred, the standard, and the pull-through. Now, each of those categories will be broken down into some subcategories, such as the preferred. They do have a preferred site that is back in with the patio, and then they have what they call just your standard preferred site. Now, your standard preferred site is one typically just like this. Uh, it is a preferred location due to the fact that, well, it's back in, but as you can see, there is nobody located behind you here. Uh, they can handle the rigs up to about 65 foot. So 
plenty of room for anything that you may need of course standard electricity 50 amp 30 amp 110 they also have cable tv here as well as wi-fi uh the wi-fi is typical of what most campgrounds is um it's okay uh it's not super but it's certainly not uh, sorry it's certainly not terrible uh we've really had no issues with the wi-fi at all since we've been here but once you back into one of these preferred sites these are your views These sites are on the inland side, so we're looking out over the Intracoastal Waterway back here as the Gulf of Mexico is uh, opposite of us on the opposite side of the road. Uh, there's really no views of the actual ocean from the campground, uh, which is just fine. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's still a fantastic location. Anyway, this is a preferred standard site. Back in, everything you need, water, sewer, electricity, cable TV up to 65 feet so again just a example of a standard preferred site which is what we're parked in right here we are in spot number 316 again our rig is 40 feet long as you can see there is more than enough room here uh, we had the jeep parked over here and uh, you know if you had the need i mean there's plenty of room to to park an additional vehicle here if you needed to and again we are we're we're in just a standard preferred but as you can see we're backed right up to the water here so nobody behind us and again during the week <laughs> nobody beside us okay to, so to branch off on the preferred back end here for just a second which is what is pictured right here as you can see just a back end site nobody's behind you picnic table all the amenities 50 30 cable blah 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 the nice lady in the office told me that they are currently working on building some new additional sites where they are going to take <clears throat> the little notch right there past the barbecue pit that is grass and they are going to turn them into this This is going to become the preferred back end with patio. So what they've done, they've taken that notch and they've put down pavers. They have a built-in fire pit. They'll have the grills, the gas grills, all the seating tables. Um, these are going to be some super nice sites. They only have three right now. So if you want one of these, you better be on it because they book up quickly. But man, could you imagine the views from this spot sitting here in the evenings? in the summertime minus the man-eating mosquitoes that the gulf coast has but still sitting in the patio chair in the evening is going to be some great views so this is going to become the preferred back end with patio So moving on again to their three levels of sites, the preferred standard pull through, these would be a typical pull through right here. Again, all the amenities that you need, 50, 30, 110, cable TV, sewer, electric. Uh, these sites can vary on lengths that they can handle. They do have sites that will take up to 65 feet and then down from there based upon your needs. Again, we'll include pricing ranges for all of these uh, sites in the videos here, um, but you will have to verify because it does fluctuate based on seasons, availability. Uh, during the summer, Galveston Island is a happening tourist destination. Again, we're here during the middle of the week though, so I lucked out to get to film some of this stuff while it's not packed. Now, when we came in here on Friday night, uh, there was not a space available in this park. But nevertheless, typical example of a pull through parking spot. And then here's you another example of a pull through. As you can see, this is another 40 foot rig right here. Again, they have plenty of room. Uh, they have their tow vehicle parked beside them in the back here and there is still tons of room out in the front of them. Now all of these sites right here are just your standard site. They're all back in. They have all the same amenities, 50, 30, cable TV, full hookup, sewer, water, all the everything that you would need. The only thing that makes these difference between the standard back in and the preferred back in is, well, 
as you can see when you back in you're backed up to another spot now these across the street here from us that's going to be just another pull through <clears throat> which is where we stayed last september again those sites are extremely nice also everything out here is all concrete all of the roads are paved and every site has the same amenities it is a very nice campground now the sites along the side of the road here are just standard back end sites um, because they do back up against the highway during the day yes there is a little bit of traffic noise off the highway right there but once the evening settles down no spot in here is bad at all it gets very quiet here in the evenings it is just an enjoyable place to be all the time And again, we'll put the typical rates down here for all of these sites. But again, you'll just have to verify that on the website when you check in because the rates do fluctuate a lot here based on the season. And also, if you join the KOA program, well, you get discounts. So just verify your site. I will tell you that in the summertime, while it doesn't look busy right now because we are here in the middle of the week, if you wanna stay here on the weekends, you need to get your reservations in. but still a very nice site just to be listed as a standard site. And every site also has a picnic table and a barbecue grill. So to break off here in the moment for the video of nothing related to the campground, but man, I've been watching this huge fire way out here in the distance. Uh, no danger to us. I mean, there's a lot of water between us and them and the wind is blowing away from us. So no smoke or anything coming to the campground, but man, that fire has just gotten larger and larger throughout the morning. I don't know if it may be a controlled burn, but uh, anyway, as you can see, I mean, it's got the sky filled with smoke all the way around here behind the campground. So you can see the direction the wind's blowing. It's not coming at us, but all of that that you see out there is smoke. Uh, anyway, on with the show. So guys, that in a nutshell is pretty much the overview of all the different kinds of spots they have, as well as the cabins, uh, some of the amenities they have here. Uh, and again, not to quote prices, because you will have to verify, because it is a large fluctuation with seasons. But you can expect to pay anywhere between $60 to $100 a night, depending on what kind of spot you were to choose. Um, the cabins can go upwards of... Uh, I think she said around maybe 240 a night, but you know, again, they sleep a lot of people. So when you divide that up, it's actually really good cost. Um, I don't know what else to say about this place. It is not a bad place. It is a great place to stay. We enjoy every time we come here. And again, I don't think there's a bad spot. No matter what you were to get, it would be just fine. Uh, from a typical back end to a pull through to preferred if you could luck out and get a preferred patio Whatever floats your boat, right? Um, again, this is just a typical preferred you back up right here to the marshlands looking over the intercoastal waterway great location uh, You can't go wrong again. We're only 17 miles out of Galveston proper here So you're just far enough away from the hubbub. We are literally blocks away from public beach access if you want to go into Galveston, a 20 minute drive. So Galveston Island KOA holiday, I believe is a great destination, uh, especially among the KOA family. Great folks. If you belong to the program, great discounts. Their KOA appreciation weekend that they have here each year. Uh, last year was in September. I'm assuming it's going to be roughly around the same time again this year. It's a fun experience. Uh, they had live music. They had a lot of booths set up they gave away a lot of prizes it's just a really cool hangout uh, it is nice to see um, like the landscaping flourishing uh, when we were in here in September of last year they had just planted a lot of the palm trees and they are doing great uh, it was a relatively new campground at the time um, they bought out an old existing area and they are revamping it and they are doing an absolute fantastic job so again guys Galveston Island KOA holiday an absolute fantastic location for the Texas Gulf Coast.